Hey there, Mac users and Mac automators. This is Bakari Shivano with Mac Automation Tips. Hey, I'm back to give you another video, and this time I'm gonna focus in on how I organize files and folders using different methods like, you know, Keyboard Maestro, Better Touch Tool, Default Folder X, and just the Finder itself. I'm gonna show you some methods that will help you to speed up your use of files and folders on your Mac. So stay tuned and watch. All right, so here we are in the uh, Finder here, and I'm just gonna kind of go through some of the more simple ways to to manage and you know organize files and folders, and then a little bit more complex ways, right? So if you're a Mac user, you probably already should know, and in case you don't, um, you can you can add folders um, to your sidebar here, and these are the folders that I kind of access. Uh, quite often or regularly, right? And so I just put them in a the sidebar for quick access. And you can, and if you don't know, you can just kind of drag any folder into the sidebar right here and drop it. So that's that's number one. And if you, you know, if you don't use this method, definitely start using it. All right. The second method that I use is um, I go through the um, go up here in the menu bar here, and in the menu bar, I'm going to go to view. Uh, show view options here. Now, if you're not using this, this is another way you want to do it. So, for example, you can you can select how you want um, when when you open up a certain folder in the Finder, how you want it to present the uh, folders and the files in that folder. So, for example, in my downloads folder, I always wanted to open up in column view, right? And I wanted to browse in column view, but I wanted to arrange it by date added. And then sort it by date, uh, by name. So that's why that's what you see right here. Whereas in my applications folder, right, I always wanted to open up in column view for again, but then I wanted to be arranged by name and sorted by name. I don't want to sort it by um, you know recently opened or recently added. So that's how um, I do that. So you can go through some of your most used folders and um, do this kind of you know. You know, kind of select how you want files uh, and folders um, arranged. You can also change the uh, text size too. As you know, if you're somebody like myself who uh, has poor eyesight, sometimes you can um, you know go from 10 to to 16 or what have you. You can also select to have to show by icons, uh, show icon preview, those kind of things. So if you don't know how to use that, definitely um, that's one of the first things you should start definitely uh, checking out for your files and folders in the Finder. All right, so here we are at number three. And number, now the third method I use is what's called smart um, folders. And this is similar to how um, you can use smart mailboxes in mail. I've done, I did a video on that if you want to check it out. But basically, smart uh, folders are based upon a certain, certain a set of rules that you set up uh, for the folder. So let's go here and let's see, show criteria here. In this particular one, this is recently added apps or, or, or recently updated apps, right? So you have the rule that's kind um, is application, date added is in the last month. Well, this is what it, the results are here. These are the ones that have been kind of updated in the last month. So it's the same thing for recent images. Um, let's look at that uh, criteria here. Oops, go back here. And then show criteria. All right, so here's the kind is an image, all, and then um, uh, date created within the last two weeks. So if I want to quickly access and find those, I can do that. And I have a similar one um, for movies, for videos. So the videos that I recently created, um, same thing, show criteria. And this was kind equals movie created within the last month. So I can quickly access them there as well. And then you can just save that. When you when you click the save button here, it will ask you, you know, you, will, you can enable you to save it and to the uh, sidebar when you do that. So to create a, a one of these uh, smart folders, uh, all you have to do is go into the menu bar and you go to uh, file, um, new folder here. Right. And then you can you can start doing a search for the type of uh, files that you want to filter um, either, you know, in your home folder or on your Mac. And or you can go to the hit this plus button here. Right. Oops. Not the plus button. This plus button here. Hit this plus button right here. 
And um, then you can go ahead and look at the rules that you want to set up for your um, smart folder and then click um, save. So I'll probably do a video on this, um, you know, just kind of go into more detail, but that's pretty much how you, how you do it. All right. All right. So the, the kind of the third or the fourth method, um, actually the fourth method that I use is uh, I use an application called drop zone, which uh, kind of is up here in the menu bar and drop zone allows you to move, um, you know, selected files um, from, you know, say anywhere in your finder on the desktop to a designated application or designated folder. So for example, if I want to take this movie file and I wanted to move it to this junk folder, for example, maybe I just want to park it there because in my junk folder, um, you know, it this file will stay in there and then Hazel removes files out of that folder, uh, like I think every month or something like that. So you can just do that. Or if I have a PDF and I wanted to move it to my PDF folder, I can do that. Or if I have, um, you, you can also have it, you can save um, or you can add um, automator uh, workflows here. So if I had a bunch of, um, let me move this out the way, for example here. So if I had a bunch of uh, PDF files and I want to combine them, I can just select all those PDFs and then drop it on onto this um, automation workflow here and it will combine all those uh, PDFs into one PDF file. So that's, you know, there's a lot of things you can do with drop, uh, drop zone here and there's probably again there's probably some videos about it already and maybe i'll do a video on it but that's another way that i kind of quickly uh, move files from one place to the next all right so also similarly to um drop zone the um kind of the the, the fifth way that i that i use method i use is a, is an application called drag and drop and basically drag and drop all you have to do is take this you take a file and you just move it back and like back and forth like this and you drop it here and you it's kind of a drag and drop and that means it stays there so then if i wanted to take that file and move it to say you know my dropbox here i can just take it and then drag it into my dropbox uh folder or wherever i want to to drag it to right and so uh, dra uh that's just a really quick way to kind of temporarily hold your files right and uh and until you're moving somewhere else. So drag and drop is really convenient and it always stays there in the background for you and, and it's really easy to use. All right, so number six here is the good old Hazel, the classic Hazel application. If you're not using Hazel by now, uh, you must be new to the Mac because Hazel is like the, like the most like automatic, automated kind of application that you can use. Basically, what Hazel does is it allows you to set up some rules um, in here and to to move, kind of pretty much just kind of move files around to, 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 to move files to the trash or, or to open up files. It can do all kinds of things, right? And so, for example, um, if I download a uh, DMG file and I, you know, I use it, basically what it will do is that, is that if this file is in my downloads folder, for right here in my downloads folder, and if it's there for more than five minutes, it will automatically move that file to the trash because that's basically what happens. After I use a DMG file, I'm pretty much not going to open it up again, so it just goes right to the trash. So that's one rule there. Another, another one here for DMG, is that actually it um, when a file is, is added to the downloads folder it will automatically open that dmg file and so that i can just go ahead and start using it uh for whatever you know it opens up to and reveals so uh, i'm saying i'm going to do a video on hazel but there's also a lot of videos on youtube about hazel so if you're not using hazel uh definitely uh check it out because there's a lot you can do with it and uh, let me show you one more uh, rule that i have for the desktop uh, let me see, right click here and see if it's edit. Okay, so for the desktop, what I have is any files that are on my desktop for more than an hour, right, or the image files that are on there for more than an hour, they get automatically sent to um, the junk folder um, in, in there. And then, and then I have also another rule for the junk folder, like I said, and, and that rule is that any files in the junk folder that's been there more than a month, they automatically get uh you know, thrown away. So it's really, so you can see, I could just, you know, lots and lots of rules that you can set up for Hazel. And uh, if you're not using it, definitely, definitely check it out. All right. 
number C number seven uh, the number seven here is a really this is a real good automation when I click on the finder here I'll click on my desktop which opens the finder right when I click on that what it would do it was automatically open up a finder window and the reason why I do that is because typically if I'm going to click on the desktop I'm pretty much going to do it so I'm going to go open up a finder window or maybe then I'm going to do something with a file that's already on the finder but that that's really pretty much um, like I say, anytime I click on the find, it's going to open it up. Now, so this little uh, keyboard maestro uh, macro is set up. So what it does is, is that basically when it when the finder activates, uh, what it does is that it opens up a finder window. It does that if one does not already exist. So if a finder window title downloads or a finder window title desktop does not already exist, right? It will open up a finder window. But if it if it does exist, or you see where it says true, then it won't do that. So this is kind of a conditional um, conditional uh, mac conditional uh, rule or a conditional mac uh, conditional sorry a conditional um, rule to set up. And uh, uh, a workflow to set up. So that's what I'm trying to use. A traditional workflow that I've set up uh, to do that. Sorry for confusing you there. But anyway, so it's really, it's a really kind of just really, it just works all the time. I love this one. Now, for example, also, if I go to, if, if I already have a window open and I want to open up another window for whatever reason, I also use a better touch tool finger gesture. So if I do a four finger tap, right? That will also open up a window as well, or open up a, a, a new tab window in this case. So you know that's just a really quick way to do that as well. But typically, I just use this uh, this macro here to just have a, a finder window open up for me automatically. All right. Last but not least, um, I use another another method I use to kind of get to folders and files and everything. It's the default folder X, and I probably should just do an entire. Um, you know video on this and I'm pretty sure there's some videos already done about default for the X and I've done one about a particular feature in default for the X so you want to check that out but another thing you can do with default for the X is that in addition to being able to access it in the uh, menu bar up here like here right you can also go and access it you can have it put uh, a little access to it in the finder um, here um, toolbar right and so I can do that and what it enables me to do is look at my recent folders recent files a folder set um, you know and that kind of thing so it's really easy to get a certain folders here particularly like some of my favorite folders that I don't use a lot but um, I you you know when I do want to access them I can access them really quickly uh, by doing that also you can also bring up this menu uh, really quickly uh, with a hotkey I think it's your option, um, you know, uh, M here. That's one I assigned to it. So you can do that too. I don't use that method a lot, but it's, it's another way to to uh, to to really get at um, you know your recent uh, uh, folders and files and that kind of thing. Okay, so that's it for this episode of Mac Automation Tips here on YouTube channel. Hey, if you're new to my channel, I hope you do subscribe. And if you like what I shared with you today, hit that like button below. Hey, and give me some comments. Let me know how you use files and folders and how you manage them on your Mac. Look forward to seeing you again next time. Thanks for watching.